My name is Plamen Kozlovski and I'm Medical Director in Novartis Global Drug Development. Novartis developed the DPP-4 inhibitor vildagliptin for the treatment of type 2 diabetes. The mode of action of DPP-4 inhibitors is well established. These drugs improve glycemic control by prolonging meal-induced GLP-1 and GIP secretion, which results in glucose-sensitive increase of insulin secretion and suppression of glucagon. Our previous research showed that reduction in HB1C was not dependent on the duration of diabetes. However, the relative contribution of insulin and glucagon to the improvement in glycemic control has not been reported to date. So we decided to explore the effect of the DPP-4 inhibitor vildagliptin on insulin secretion in patients with different durations of diabetes. We analyzed data on changes in HB1C and beta cell function from six double-blind placebo-controlled studies. Two studies in drug-naive patients, three studies with vildagliptin or placebo added to oral anti-diabetic drugs, and one study with vildagliptin or placebo added to insulin. We plotted the mean duration of diabetes from each study against the placebo-subtracted change in HB1C and against the placebo-subtracted change in beta cell function. Beta cell function was assessed during standard oral load in all studies and was reported as insulin secretion rate relative to glucose. We found a strong negative association between the duration of diabetes and the beta cell response to hildagliptin, indicating that the stimulated insulin secretion decreased with the progression of type 2 diabetes. Similarly to our previous findings, the magnitude of HB1C improvement was not dependent on the duration of diabetes. A weakness of our study is that we did not measure glucagon secretion. We therefore can only speculate that with a progressive decline in beta cell function, suppression of glucagon by DPP-4 inhibitors during hyperglycemia may be the predominant mechanism for improvement of glycemic control with these drugs.